This video shows the installation of a redundant oil pressure sensor required by Dakota Digital's VHX gauges. The E-Ride LS3 comes with an oil pressure sensor already installed right here at the back of the engine. Its only purpose is to connect an oil pressure gauge. The engine computer does not use it. Chevrolet even specifies exactly how to interpret the signal from their oil pressure sensor. If Dakota Digital can design their gas gauge to work with a variety of sending units, I am certain they could do the same for oil pressure, and I wish they would. Now let's see how to install Dakota Digital's oil pressure sensor. We're going to install an oil pressure sensor, and it goes in this little piece right above the oil filter. So Dylan's got himself a 10 millimeter socket. Dylan's going to drill out this whole thing to 11.30 seconds. What did you say these threads are? I said one eighth twenty seven NPT. After tapping, this is what the piece looks like. The threads don't go all the way down to the chamber, but they go as far as that tap would go. So now that Dylan has drilled and tapped this fitting, a fitting whose only purpose seems to be to be there to be drilled and tapped. Um, he's reattaching it. Now it's time to install the oil pressure sensor in it. Should be getting harder and harder to turn. Yep. <laughs> it is. So that's the installation of the oil pressure sensor. Wiring will be coming soon. Comments and questions are always welcome and they help other viewers. Thank you for watching.